you, Dave. <laughs> Dude, you guys are mean. Don't take it personally. Jesus. So, like, literally saying the exact thing you said to us and just, like, pointing back at you and you being like, you're mean. It's like, really? Really? I'm the dirtiest one of all. I mean, I don't know. Sack up then. (laughs) Why don't you lick my head? How about I uh, cave in your head? How about I I go to your apartment and... How about if you try to come into my apartment uninvited, I'll shoot you. How about you don't have a gun? I think I... How about I'll murder you another one? How about you don't know where I live? So if you're entering my home, I don't I'm need kidding. to know where you live. <laughs> <laughs> I feel like that part becomes moot. <laughs> Wow, apparently I f- fell asleep before I even connected these things last night. Oh yeah, I failed it. T- <laughs> this path didn't work out and I immediately just like deleted it. I was like, ah, I give up, it's too hard. That's hilarious. I'm hilarious. You gotta love me, I'm the baby. Anyway, the point that I was trying to make is that I think I'm the highest tier nerd, just given the amount of MMOs I have an active subscription for. That alone accounts for a lot. Sounds right. So. But nerds do, right? They go to fantasy worlds rather than outside. Haha, uh, <laughs> Boone's playing World of Tanks. What is it you like about World of Tanks? I, I, I like the gameplay. It's just such a unique shooter. Like I agree. The fact that, like, like positioning and stuff, it's not like you can just pivot and aim anywhere, like, at the drop of a hat. Like, you have to be positioned in the right way, take into account you have eight seconds of reload and stuff. It's like everything that we love about Nappy Wars, but, like, plus some. Just, like, it's a very... A game, what if we make a game that's in the Oriana Wars, like, kind of clone but they're all babies, and they're all wearing, like, diapers, and we call them nappy boys. I would love that, but there'd be too many diaper fetish players. So, they'd be our bread and butter. I don't- I don't want to start flirting with that thing. Then we- we make a hundred thousand dollars on it, I'm like, Dave, I don't want this to- 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 to, to be my life. Right, I'm not gonna- pick you off the team and take all your money. Yeah, I'm not gonna sell myself out for a paycheck. I don't want my life's work to be like a diaper fetish game. It's not Even meant if to it be makes a diaper fetish game. It's meant to be a team, it's meant to be a team based civil war game, but instead of civil war, it's babies in diapers with like darts, darts and pork guns, and, and like they approach tomatoes. Why don't we make the sickest like revolutionary war game of all time? What if we make that board game that we were working on in Table Thompson and we had some foundational rules for it? Ha! Foundational roots? More like... Nappy Wolf roots? I don't know, I had nothing. This is a nice change of pace, Hunter. Remember how hard we were getting owned last night? Now I'm the one doing the owning. Oh, yeah. I think I... I've, we were I getting like sub 200 up. stars on every round, yeah. No, I was uh, getting like three, four, but uh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, it's not the best. It's not, it's not the worst though. Three or four hundred, it's like, meh. I'll take it.
see if I can upgrade my stug any further. Oh, I have one upgrade left. Hunter, have you, have you seen the Dicker Max? It's not really what it's called. <laughs> I always forget about that. Makes me think of the scene from uh, Kids Say the Darndest Things when the kid's like, Dick Trickle. Dick Trickle. And like, Bill Cosby's like shocked. Now I want to play World of Tanks. Sorry, people watching the stream, all zero of you, but this just became a World of Tanks blitz stream. <laughs> Imagine if I did have people watching. Buddha, if you want, you guys never actually show me the tabletop things. If you want to show it to me sometime, I'm just going to get it. I'll, I'll take a look. I haven't actually looked at it, so. I forgot about it for a hot minute. So, I do want to see it. Tabletop simulator? <laughs> yeah, Buddha was telling me you and him, like, we're using a tabletop simulator to make kind of like your own little game. Yeah, remember Hunter? Yep. Uh-huh. Yeah. Uh. Enemy is shit. Man, just oh, hearing man. the voice line from from the game makes you want to play Gunther. Yeah. I was like, woo. Oh. I'm gonna die. I'm out of position, surrounded by three enemy tanks. I blame my team, they're all bots. They're bots. I blame their butts. Those are butts. And I blame your butts. The size, the size, the size and, the and the shape, shape of their butts doesn't mean, mean my expectation nor my approval. I'll be gone till November. Hey, look, that bot is AFK. It's an AFK bot. That's not possible. It is. Bots are inherently away from a keyboard. Or are they... No, not always. You could have uh, a keyboard right next to a server modem. So, um, what's your guys' AC situations that you have in your homes right now? Are you guys hot, or do you have an AC that you can blast? In I have an AC I'm blasting right behind me. I uh, have windows open on both sides, and I live on the third floor, so the wind just blasts through. Cools the place down. You're trapped in a wind tunnel? No, I'm in a side, a side room. It doesn't blast here, it's, like, it's constantly flowing through, so it keeps you nice and cool. Sometimes it gets hot, but not bad. Yeah. It's not like you're stuck inside a trumpet blaster. Be like a little Gunther. Oh my god, you have to drink it so he doesn't drown. <laughs> I wouldn't drink that, you know he pooped in one of the shot things. 
Yeah, he at least did something gross in it. Like, his body's, like, covered in pizza grease and, like, wine stains. Oh, uh, yeah, like, just being in there is gonna be gross. <laughs> like, oh, this tastes terrible. Like, like, he doesn't bathe. He just, like, lounges in, like, glasses of wine and beer. Yeah. And he's a mouse made to look like a gunther. Of course he doesn't bathe. pretty impressive to teach a mouse how to dance around, though. That's all he does. Oh, my little gun. Think about how much he was tortured and abused to reach that point of, like, dancing when he hears the song. Well, I think his face gets all super serious when, <laughs> when uh, yeah. they like, start. Yeah, that's why he gets so serious. You're totally right. Yeah, like, anytime I see, like, a really well-trained bear, I'm like, aww. Like, I know he's been, like, beating the fuck up to get to that point. Yeah, dude. To show that you're in control, that's how the animals work. Enemy is shit. Enemy is shit. Anyway, if you're if you're not playing Dyson Spear, maybe this is my once in a lifetime chance to catch up. It sure is, bugaboo. Fuck. I shot a wall. Would you be mad if I got interplanetary before you do? No. It's a casual game, I'm not competing. This I get competitive in. Yeah. Dyson Sphere, it's like yeah, don't well, rush, it's... man, just Figure it out. No, it's the ultimate, like, feel good, like, chill game, you know? Right. Part of it's because the items on the conveyor belts are so cute. They're yep. perfect little I was in an intense shootout with this guy, and literally my ally didn't start helping until like halfway through the fight, and then I'm just about to kill him, and then a second teammate turns the corner and, and steals the kill. It's like, oh, you it's didn't deserve kill. that. Kill. You didn't steal the kill, it was an assist. No, I got the assist, he stole the kill. You put the ass and cyst into a cyst. Boo. Oh, shit. Shit, we're gonna get a base cap victory because these mofos are too stupid. There's only two left on our team and five left on their team, and we just won the uh, a base capture. That's amazing. Friendly team capture the base. Woohoo! That's sick. What if you had wiped out all the humans on the enemy team and the bots were just, like, driving in circles? Nope. Nope. <laughs> They had the emblems I had checked. They had like actual oh, custom wow. emblems. Yeah, that's how you know they're just bloodthirsty mofos trying to kill, not trying to win. Yeah, it's true. Kill. Yeah, okay, I did my deal. Kill. 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 No one die. I never will. I miss her bird dance. One of the best. <laughs> I don't even know what's happening fuck. anymore. It's a reference to the song by that band, Cruel Mir Miracle. Yeah. I'm gonna measure out again. Oh my god. <laughs> a cool miracle. Been hit by, you've been struck by a cruel miracle. Da -da -da -da. What's the song called? Is it called Get Some? Wow.
I remember when we seriously listened to the album group. all the way through when we were like drunkenly blasting the the Alexa, and both you guys had the complaint that the vocals are too loud in the mix, but that's just how they mix like pop records and stuff and rock records. It's like well, we were probably also drunk, as you said. But that doesn't invalidate your opinion that you held at that time. It's like I was drunk, so that murder wasn't me. But um, that's not the same. That's not the same at all. It's One's exactly being held one accountable one. for a crime. They don't really care what state you were in. That and, like, the willfulness of it comes from you getting that drunk. That's the mens rea. That's how they prove it. Anyway, both, both of you guys pointed out that you thought the vocals were too high in the mix, but that's just how they mix, like, stuff like that. Well, they don't have, like, I don't remember they don't that. have the vocal on the same and level you're the only person who says it. So maybe it's not even true. It's it's my truth. What are you trying to do to my my truth? I think you're lying you about your truth. I think your truth was fake. You guys are... I think you have fake truth. I think you guys are fucking jerk offs. I mean, I do jerk, jerk me off a lot. So don't you have a girlfriend? Yeah, I still jerk off. What's wrong with jerking off? Is there a problem with jerking off? No, you're supposed to force your girl to please you whenever you need. Oh, that's yeah, that's called, cool. that's called, that, yeah, that's a, that's a crime. Oh, it's called a healthy relationship. I don't think you know what that is. <laughs> I think you don't know a lot of stuff. Relax, otherwise I'll slap your nose. What's going on? Hunter's drunk, it's only 11 a.m. <laughs> nothing wrong with being drunk at 11 a.m. if you're in an airport traveling from some country where it would be 5 p.m. at that time. You don't even need that second part. If you're traveling, you're allowed to drink. That's true. Like, they'll just straight up ask anyone if they want, like, champagne or wine at, like, an 8 a.m. flight. Yeah. That's what well, because, like, it doesn't really, like, social cues, like, uh, norms are actually, like, dropped and very different in a, uh, airport-type setting or on an airplane because, like, or any, or, like, on a fancy train, X, Y, Z, and, uh, this is because, like, traveling is inherently stressful, and they, uh, drinking is just part of it. We should make a, a movie about an alcoholic flight marshal who's just, like, taking flights, like, and like non-stop. I, I'd be surprised if that hasn't been uh, Why are you implying that it's a good premise? Someone's like I, fucking around the not, airplane. Did you, not, did you not literally just hear what I just fucking said? Do you just selectively, you, you, uh, you, do you just selectively hear what I say sometimes? No, I think you selectively hear what I Dude, what, he's what also I playing what, music. What I literally just I literally just said that's a really good premise, and you're like, what? Think it's a good oh, well, I didn't hear it through your fucking mic because, like, even when you said it this time, it was quieter than everything else Maybe that you, you said. Turn it just my volume up then. It's maxed. Well, fuck you anyway. Jesus. Yeah, I wasn't doing anything fucking. I was just being like, oh, so, so you really like it? Like, oh, fuck you, Buddha. You never listened to me. And then you killed me, and now I'm dead. And now. That's the end of my entire life story. It is an interesting story. Yeah, I mean, there's a lot of movies about alcoholics, like, leaving Las Vegas and stuff, but it's framed within a different context. But, I mean, there's already plenty of movies about drunk cops. It's like, what, now it's just a drunk cop on an airplane? And then he's passed out drunk when a terrorist attack actually happens? That'd, that'd be pretty funny. Oh my god. Maybe not Tragic. Funny, but... <laughs> Have you ever heard that story of the air marshal who didn't show the, the the flight attendant his badge and instead like flashed his gun and stuff? Yeah, I remember like such, that. It's like such a mishandled thing that they had to land the plane and the dude got taken off by cops and like fucking lost his job and stuff because he was being a dick. Like he was 
He was he went up to the flight attendant and he demanded to see the flight list, like the list of all the names and seats and stuff. And the flight attendant was like, um, sir, I can't do that. And then he flashed her his gun. What a dick. What a, what an idiot. He he could have like like flashed his badge and been like, I'm a flight marshal. But he didn't say any of that and only flashed his uh, gun. So they had to force a landing. Talk about mishandling a circumstance, wouldn't you say, guys? It's well, easily, it's like, the most, like, inappropriate way to handle a situation. Easily. What, what were you saying, Dave? So I, I actually, it, out of curiosity, I did actually look up how to call the air marshal, and I found two things. I found one that apparently um, a lot of, like, a lot of air marshals a couple of years ago were getting, like, fired because they found that they were, like, they were drinking a lot, or they were on drugs, and they were supposed to be like alert and on their job. So the guy yeah, well, who did that, the guy who did that, was probably drunk, or sleep deprived, or on pills, or both. And then I actually uh, apparently there was a, there, there was apparently sort of a one of those Liam Neeson uh, action films where he plays an air marshal who part of the plot is that he. Uh, it was an alcoholic. I don't know if that's part of the plot or anything like that. But it's supposed they to stole my premise. No, our premise is very different because ours involves acting. <laughs> yeah, the the uh, that sort of fucked up. Like, as an air marshal, your job is to pretty much just like sit on flights, just like read a book, dude. Do you really need to be filled out? I don't know. It seems like a cushy job. Probably helps. <laughs> Yeah, like, fucking... think about how sick it would be if you were, like, high out of your mind down a floor. <laughs> Versus not. <laughs> I don't know. I think I disagree with you. I'm just saying, like, I see the temptation. Yeah, it's like, because cause your job is to just sit there on, on the flight, yeah. That I understand. I'm not entirely shit for brains. Duple cop. Turn the corner, Sherman. Boom. Oh, I should have paid more attention. Nat. Oh my god, I Talk shot their that. gun. I shot their gun! Woo! <laughs> oh my god, that was such a sick comeback. <laughs> I like know there's people that have sex with monkeys, but I wonder if there's anyone that's like exclusively sexually attracted to monkeys. Exclusive. I would not be surprised. Uh, that oh actually would not be There's probably a paraphilia, paraphilia for it. The zoophilia. Well, I mean, tech, I mean, it's it's a bestiality zoophile thing, but I wonder if there's a specific term. For somebody who is exclusively like into like monkeys or chickens. I mean, those are apes. I was thinking monkeys. Are 
Are chimpanzees like, are chimpanzees are chimpanzees considered apes or are they considered their own kind? Uh, chimps don't have tails. They're apes. They're not oh, great okay. apes. I think they're just plain apes. But I wonder if like part of the appeal is the taboo of like the subhuman mating. It's like yeah, you you fucking devolved bitch. And then he's like, Fuck yeah, you're right. They're apes. Is isn't that how? I I don't know if it's entirely true, but isn't that how? A disease got started from people eating monkey meat or having sex with monkeys or something. Isn't that how AIDS got started? People having sex with monkeys. I've heard that. I'm not sure if that's exactly where it came from, but um, it's. I know it, 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 it was at least. And it's it, there are a lot. I mean, it's just there are a lot of there are a lot of diseases that come around basically either interacting with crazy wildlife or just. Here we go. Yeah, I mean, an, an armadillo can make you a leper. Yep, it carries that virus. So yeah, HIV, two types of human human, human immunodeficiency virus affects humans, HIV-1 and 2. HIV-1 is more virulent and easily transmitted. It is the source of majority of HIV infections throughout the world. HIV-2 is largely confined to West Africa. Both types originated in West and Central Africa. Jumping from other primates to humans, HIV-1 has evolved from a simian, immuno, simian immunodeficiency virus found in the subspecies PT troglodytes in southern Cameroon, in Kinshasa, and the Democratic Republic of Congo has the greatest genetic difference. Blah, 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 blah. So yes, it was it was a chimpanzee virus, and then it jumped to humans. So. During the 80s, gay people had sex with chimps? Exactly. I have no idea what this guy is talking about. I sent him a version. I sent him the document he responded back there was a misspelling should be hottest concert not contest i say fix that and then if amanda is good with it go i've now read the entire document at no point does it ever say hottest contest or anything close to hottest concert <laughs> that's bizarre it's like, <laughs> that's so bizarre. bizarre it's like what is happening <laughs> It's actual, like, gibberish nonsense. Like, it's also... And also, that's not how you request an edit for a document. You say on page <laughs> four, paragraph three, they found this. Like, it needs to be this. And then the person goes there and changes it. Like, you don't... What? Ugh. Bizarre. It's the least helpful shit of all time, and it makes no sense. Are. I have to read through this fucking thing again. <laughs> this is so boring, Buna. <laughs> Can't you control F it, or is it? A it's PDF? not coming up. <laughs> Does control F like partial word that he's talking about? Maybe he typoed the typo that he was referencing. He's talking about sexy concerts and shit. <laughs> Hunter, dun, 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 dun. I'm always hunting. Dun, 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 dun. <sighs> you okay, Sally? This is the war. <laughs> Promise me you weren't gonna do any work today. I said I have one little. Remember the one little thing I had to do. 
Yep. It turns out that that one little thing is literally impossible and or doesn't actually exist, and this is all a huge waste of time. Sounds like even more reasons not to do it. It has to go out today. Huh, that puts a damper. Spirit. I'm so confused. I'm so, so, so confused. Man, this is another thing that frustrates me about these ASAP BS style of entries. Like, I have to just sit here and figure this out, rereading the same document again and again and again and again and again and again and again, again looking for what the fuck he's talking about when he could easily have just misspoke. Because he didn't even submit this today. He said it, or yesterday, at a reasonable time that could lead to me finding this. He sent it in at 10.30 p.m. <laughs> you fucking asshole. Man, these, these people, like, work, work like me. They procrastinate until the very last second. And then submit it, like, at late at night, outside of work hours. That's exactly what I do. Yep. And they're a holes Hunter, for kill it. Him. <clears throat> Shoot her! Hey Dave, are you gonna ask Trish to marry you, or are you just gonna have babies without marriage? Um. Oh my God! I just found it. I'm going to I'm going to create uh, a fake identity with her, and then I'm going to bury her in my cell phone. And then every every now okay. and again, I'll lower food. <laughs> Was it actually what he had said, Hunter? Like like no. the weird concert thing? No, it wasn't. I finally found the word he was talking about. What was he talking about? What did he say and what did he find? There was a, a misspelling. It should be hottest concert, not contest. What the fuck? For the busy month of June 2021, with concert tickets to one of the summer's hottest oh. shows. This is a. Sorry, I'm. I'm... Ah! <laughs> Hunter, you, you should have searched just the single word rather than the whole phrase. I did. It still didn't come up. I don't know why. What, you searched concert and, it, and contest and neither of them came up? That's messed up. Sounds like a bad file, if you ask me. Maybe the file wasn't searchable correctly. Ugh. <sighs> 
just like, hey everyone, sorry, uh, sorry for the delay, this request nearly gave me a stroke. Are you really gonna say that? That'd be hilarious. <laughs> uh, that probably would be a, a, a ill-advised thing to do. I, uh... Okay, I am all siggity, soopity, big ol' poopity, loopity, zip, flop, lappity, done. What's this? I'm just gonna go. <sighs> man, <laughs> it gets to Amanda and man's like, oh, it's great. Can you redesign all of it? <laughs> it's like, ah! <laughs> Hunter, awesome work. Can you delete everything and start over from scratch? <laughs> That's a great job. You're fired. <laughs> Honestly. Also, quick question. Are, are you still streaming? Yeah. I've been streaming this whole time. Should retitle your stream to Workday Delight. <laughs> Maybe I will. Is that Ella Musk being attacked by the Hill Trolls? and call me a biscuit. You just want somebody to eat your ass. <laughs> I would be No, he just wants someone upset. to call him a biscuit. That's right, thank you. Someone yeah, actually listened. If he's a biscuit, then if his ass is a, if his ass is a biscuit, someone will eat him. Not specifically my ass. Oh, okay. <laughs> and it's like, and then call my ass a biscuit. <laughs> it's, like, it's like, I don't know, man. What's the third step? <laughs> I mean, your ass is butter. No, no. Like, why is Hunter's butt so dense and buttery and dry? <laughs> I baked it. <laughs> Bake your ass? Apparently. You you know that's gonna have Wait, doesn't he serious consequences. Hunter, you know it's gonna have a serious like repercussion for your future of like sitting down, right? No, it'll be it'll be fine. It's, oh, fine. No. it's fine. It's fine. It's fine. It's fine. The most classic hunterism of all. Relax. Relax. Re and, and like, in the actual punchline is like, you're the one that needs to relax, but you're the one saying it. Buna. The classic joke. Relax. Ah ha 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 Tanks for right now. Unless, oh. actually. Yeah, I'm gonna try playing in my <sighs> light tank. <laughs> Imagine if Colin watches this in the future and suddenly it's just everyone impersonating him. It's like, is this what they do? Hey guys, I'm Colin, putting on a, a different voice. <laughs> Hello. 
I feel like there are so many things that a hunter does, but for some reason now it's being described to Colin. I thought it's always been. It's Colin's fault. I was ever like that. I don't think Colin has ever gone. Bleep, 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 bleep. I feel like it's always been hunter. Oh, I was definitely not. Bleep, 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 bleep. It's so silly. Well, Dave's fancy is different. No, Dave, I. Got it from Colin. Yeah, we probably got it from. <sighs> Dave, I'm telling you for a fact. <sighs> leedle, leedle, leedle. <coughs> got it from your mama. My mother would never say that. <coughs> she did. She said it to me last night. <coughs> She's retired. Don't say that. She's retarded. Oh, I miss her. Yeah, that was the that was the that was the before. Well, I'm also tired. No, no, she has new tires put on. <laughs> 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 Sometimes it lands that way, I guess. That's, sometimes that's how the crumbles. No, the guaranteed way of making Hunter laugh is just tell him his own jokes for the things that he's done. And he'll be thrilled. <laughs> hey, Andrew, remember that time you stabbed someone's jug? <laughs> Andrew, remember when you said I had a small deal? <laughs> <laughs> On my stream! <laughs> Isn't it the one that has like seven views? <laughs> <laughs> I don't even know what's going on right now. <laughs> oh, you should uh, watch my streams, dude. I say some pretty funny things to Buna, and then I forget about them. There's some funny, pretty things against me. <laughs> this is an anti Buna stream. That's fine, I'm used to it. You guys are always against me. Oh my no, god, I, was, I wasn't saying that positive. Why don't you cry me a river and I'm pooping it, big baby? Why don't you stick your dick inside of a fucking rock? How about I inside hit your dick with a rock? Smush it. Uh, damaging inside. That's like Stick your dick the blender and turn it on, you won't have a dick anymore. No, 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 Imagine no. trying to pee after that. It's hard. It's very difficult. Yeah, not the easiest thing you could try to do. Peeing after you blended your penis. That's a, that's a tricky situation. I think you'd be in there. It's a tricky dicky. Tricky dicky, why are you so gay? So, uh, I want fish. I'm going to give him a piece of fish. Wasn't Richard Nixon married? No. Uh, I don't think he. I don't think he was gay. No, he wasn't. Not the point. Nixon though. wasn't gay. He was a crook, though. No, Buchanan was gay. Wasn't so Richard was Nixon the one who's like, well, slap my ass and call me a sap? No, he's the one. Who's like, he's the one who's like, I am not. A no, that that was that when was that's the guy from uh, Code Monkeys, Dave. LB, no, I can, I, I can, I can. Tell you without a shadow of a doubt in my mind, Lyndon James Johnson was not fucking gay. He was an animal. He was like he cheated on his wife. He cheated on his wife like no one. Like he made Kennedy look like a fucking choir boy. He was ridiculous, and I know that for a fact because I know my great my great uncle was a fucking was his Secret Service agent on his detail, and he used to talk about like all oh, those fucking party like he would just he wouldn't he wouldn't really go into specifics but he basically made it very clear that Lyndon, that Lyndon Bates Johnson was a fucking party animal like animal like animal ridiculous shit settle down animal are you implying he's into anal and animal I'm sure he I'm sure he tried it with gusto 
Ugh. Back and forth. I don't, I don't want to hear this. Back and forth. I'm sure he tried to gusto. No, seriously, oh. LBJ was a fucking party animal. He's crazy. Yeah. Animal. Eat my animal. There is a house in New Orleans. They call it the Rockin' Hey, Dave, I'm gonna, I'm gonna slap your balls. Well, we're talking about the animals. Well, you're talking about animals reference. Yeah, yes, yeah, 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 I get it. Yeah, yeah, they yeah. have one of the most famous. I mean, that song is a standard, but they have yes, a, but a they have one of the more famous. They have one of the more famous covers. Of yeah, because they have an acne face. They have an acne face boy belting out like he's a, like a sixty year old black man. It's pretty impressive. Well, not even blue eyed soul. I mean, it's not, you can tell he's white, but it's really good. I mean, there's, it's, it's, there's nothing wrong with being white. White people are evil and should be enslaved and exterminated. Well, I like the Negro spirituals. What can I say? Yeah, there are a lot of, there are, it's kind of, it is actually kind of sad, there are a lot of early black artists in the 30s and 40s and even into the 50s, who, they did a lot of blues and a lot of gospel stuff, and a lot of people don't know about it. Don't even get me started on the 40s and 50s, I'm thinking about the 10s and the 20s and the 20s, too. Yeah. Well, that's just because there weren't a lot of recording studios just laying around. Right, most of the recordings back then are from very bad. They're field, they're, they're like field re recordings. Though you go up to yes. some old black dude who's like, job is like people hire him for parties and stuff to just go play like music. And, and he's like, and he's already like eighty years old and half blind. And, and, right. and, 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 and the thing is, is, is like they're just like like traditional songs, like right. and they don't consider high art. Like they just go and play songs at like parties and people pay them, but. And they were bars. It's some of the best music ever, yeah. It really is. Yeah, well, people people are like, people don't like to point out that gospel music was, was like integral to a lot of this modern American music, with like country, especially um, country, but also rock and roll, like blues standards. That's problematic. Problematic! It's not about Islam or other better stuff, so it's gotta go. Those motherfucking Baha'i faith bastards. Those Baha'i boys. <laughs> I'm surprised nobody's made a band out of that. The, the Baha'i boys? I mean, it's not something I'd want to be known for. No, although most people don't even know what Baha'i is, so... Yeah. There are more Sikhs in the United States than Baha'i. There are Baha'i, though. They do exist in the U.S. What country do, do they exist in? Um... I know, I think there's a huge, I think there's a lot of them in Iraq, actually, I'm not sure. We actually check yeah, it's like mi Middle East and like South it's Asia. A Middle East sync, it's a Middle East syncretist religion, I know that for sure. Um, let me look it up real quick. It's basically some guy being like, every religion is true, and also, I'm the best. What's up? So it originated in it originated in modern day Iran. Yeah, Persia. Correct. Yeah, it came from Persia, like the man the Manichaean stuff. It's the same same BS. Just rebranded. Persians have been making fake religions for thousands of years. I'm gonna paint myself orange so I can be president one day. I actually think Baha'i is really interesting. I think the guy who led it was a total dick. Why? The 
way that he talked about himself and how highly he, he thought of himself was pretty absurd. He called himself like the wolf of whatever, but he's basically saying not only are all the religions true, like Muslims and Jewish and Christian and Hindu stuff, but that he's like the pen ultimate like messiah of all. And he was in exactly the what letter. False prophet was read read uh, the letter that he wrote to the UN, and it's like the most like high and mighty, like even beyond Nietzsche. Is he's 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 that extreme. In terms of being a high pollutant boy. To new news late night. But yeah, he wrote a letter to the UN, like demanding that they recognize him as like the leader of the world. <laughs> What a what a bold claim! I am the leader of the world. Recognize it. It's like uh no. <laughs> so it says who? It's like me, but I'm very sure. I think it's a, a, another case of a guy being like, I'm the real messiah, and, except he just like copy pasted like every other world text. Yeah. It's like also like I'm the actually, Bible. I, I actually really want to. Re I really want to read the story and let you talk about. I can't find any. I'm not finding anything. On, I'm trying to find it. It's either really the main guy or the story. guy who. It's e it's either the main guy or the guy who took over it after him. Called himself the wolf of something. The wolf of Butt Street. It's, yeah, Hunter solved it. Nailed it. <laughs> That's basically being like, not only am I the best, but the Bible, the Quran. The Upanishads, they're all talking about me. They're referring to me. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. It's like beyond, yeah, a, it's beyond a god complex. It's, I can't it's find every it, god. I really want to find this. I saw it all on, all on Wikisource or something. Like, I read it verbatim. Maybe it was bad PR and they took it off the page. Honestly... It's like, all right, dude, you better start, like, cranking out some miracles after saying that. Well, uh, let's see. The church that excommunicate him. Honestly, that would, uh, that would shut him up so hard. It's like, I am God! Banned by the Catholic Church. Bomberman time. Turn down my volume. Yeah, I can't find anything about the only thing I the only thing I can find referencing the wolf is 
something called something something son of the wolf, and it was like the last thing that the that the, that the founder of Baha'i wrote before he died. I mean, I just googled Baha'i letter to UN, and I found multiple letters from the Baha'i international community, and also from the main. Yes, guy. but they, but I'm not. But they, they obviously said like dozens and dozens of letters, dozens and dozens of letters to world leaders. I don't know if that's. What they did. I don't have the time to to go through every single one to figure out which one, which is the one you're referring to. I'm trying to find one that was specifically to the UN. Yeah, I just googled the high letter to UN and multiple ones came up. Okay, but I, as I said, I don't. I, I, He's trying I to find the one that you were. Yeah, I'm trying to find directly. the one. The one ring. What would you do if uh, one of his messages to like the world leaders of the world was just like telling them all to touch his butt i want you all to touch my butt hey god and i would think it was actually you and you're talking about it uh nope wasn't me dave i was streaming like this is not, like hunter does that and i find it I realize hunter actually is a time traveler and he just stupidly lets me reveal himself and then, he, and then he like shows up, and then he like shows up at our apartment, at like your apartment building. And he's like, "The time police are after me." And then, and then he like tackles Buddha to the ground. And he's like, "What the fuck?" And then he activates the device, and then he takes the transport to the back to the dumpster. <laughs> Sounds and like a Buna, Doraemon. Buna's, uh, Buna, Buna's the one Gunther. I mean, the one Buna's the. Was one like, huh? <laughs> oh, he brings me to the Guntherverse. Yeah, he's one of the, he's, he's like a secret agent Gunther. And like what he was supposed to do is he was supposed to get you and bring you back so that there'd be more, there'd be more Bunas. But he like came to this world and was like, wait, this isn't that bad. I want to stay here. I would never have said that. Yeah, it's anti-Hunter to say such a thing. I would, be, I would grab Buna and be like, let's go. All right. Well, I tried to come up with a funny premise. I think it was a success. No, I should die. Everything has to be this the person's ultimate. name is Big Pickle Rick ninety. Person's name is Big Pickle Rick ninety eight. I think I have to kill them. Yeah. Slap their nipples off. Memorial Day Sorry, titles in Rev. Killed her. That's uh, oh. main. How do you know it was she? Because her character, the character is a girl character. That's why I said she. Well, oh, I mean, you play girl characters. Correct. I'm I'm playing the same girl character right now. I was referring to the character rather than the player. Which is probably it's probably an ugly fat. Dude. You're talking shit about me. No, I, I look not. What the fuck? No. no. I, just I don't think you're ugly and you're not that fat. So. That fat. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, Burn. You've all gained weight, so. And we've all developed un unhealthy habits. Is this dude really trying to fuck with me right now? Wow, what a dick. I'm playing the Bomberman online game that just came out. I'm having so much fun. I already played it for an hour this morning. It's what I've always wanted. Online bar. I know my habits are better. I stopped, I stopped, I stopped drinking. <laughs> yeah, you smoke, you, you smoke a stogie every day. I'd say it's not that healthy. Not that bad. I smoke yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm not trying to shit on, on your life. But that's that's you definitely a... shit on my life. You want me to die? I'm fucking your life. I'm coming in your life! Oh, you're getting bombed to Hoid, boy. Yep, I got him! He's trapped! Man, being good at Bomberman is quite the thrill. 
Wow, what a dick. He did like a special fucking moment. He paid money to play a special character rather than being free to free to play. That's how I know I hate him. <laughs> yeah, it's a particular level of lame. Yeah, I highly recommend that you guys check out this game if you have a chance. It's free, and it's very fun. <sighs> I have piss, and I want you to grab some food, but not from the piss. Okay. I'm going to burn. Dave, don't eat while you're peeing. <laughs> Thank you! He either ignored you or he's gone. Maybe both. I'm killing the shit out. I'm killing the shit out of dudes. <sighs> no, I killed myself. Celebrate. What am I supposed to do? Pretend that, like. I don't know, I was trying to be funny. Anyways. He might have to do to do. <laughs> Baby shark. Oh! What happened to you? What happened to you, man? I, I got blown up. Kill the dude, I'm the best. I like to pee when I'm in the sea. All of these uh, South American players aren't very good. Dude, the latency is terrible. They're connecting to like a modem. I don't think it's a latency like... issue. I think it's a gameplay issue. It's just they don't have the the mechanics down. Anyway, being top 8 could in be the 64 person game is pretty good. Start streaming. I never stopped. Alright, let's see if I can maintain my top 8 streak. Destroy your whatever peak. Yeah. 
it is a, a pretty big thrill for a game like Bomberman to have 64 players like whittled down more and more. You pick up all of their upgrades, and then there's like only eight players left, and then like you're sprinting across the map, dropping bombs in every gap, and setting up some defensive nodes too. to play now Ravenfield I guess right now Luna what's up what would you do if I high five you in your nipples <laughs> if, if you high five me when and what and, and your nipples popped off I honestly can't hear anything that you're saying. Well, would you if I high fived you and then your nipples just like popped right off? Alright, dude. What would you do? Dude, I told you I'd be upset. <laughs> I mean, this sucks. I don't have nipples. And it's not really my fault. You're trying to drop a shit right in my face. Mm -hmm. I'm playing the defense game, boy oi. Oh, I'm going to kick it away. How solid can a snake be? I don't understand how they can run right over my bombs or if it's a latency thing. Should have double bombed, but it's a little safer not to. I got you, boy. Kidding me. I'm back. I'm I'm being a noob. How so? I'm Bomberman. I'm the Batman. Just uh, or I'm I'm getting performance Hi, anxiety. I'm Batman. Nobody knew who I was until I put on the mask. I'm farting on your butt. Nobody knew who I was, so it's coming in your butt. I'm farting on your butt. Oh! And my timing's off, my drops are bullet. I'm playing like an utter noob. And I uh, ran into the friggin' explosion. After playing so well, the moment I start streaming, I start playing like a fool. I mean, that's just how life works. <clears throat> I'm not trying to bear witness to any great Bomberman observer. Well, I can headbang now, at least. Sounds pretty good, I might use that one. Tier 3 Bomber Boy, I'm in the Bronze League. Oh, I like how this character looks. Play as a fall guy in this game.
I wish I was capturing my moments from the very first so I can watch the the progress and the, the difference between the bad rounds and the really good rounds. Nothing like perfectly ensnaring someone or placing bombs along a map that like trap someone into a corner and then and then blow them up. Yeah, it does sound fun. Yeah, if you play it, I'll buy you the premium pass. I I don't have it, but I'll buy it for you. Uh -huh. If you like like special. Games. So I can play as a fall guy. Yep, you can play as a fall guy for free right now, actually. That's pretty cool. I've never, I haven't seen a single person do it yet because I think most people are like, uh, why are Fall Guys in my classic franchise right now? I feel like most people are like, boo! This game had its chance. Yeah, most people are South American or Japanese, from what I've seen. What about Argentinian? Ecuadorian? Yeah, South America, buddy. Yeah. People from Nepal. Brazilian. Uh, Nepalese, not confirmed. Nepalese. <laughs> the funniest of the nationality Bal names. Balkanese. Balkanese. That sounds delicious. Yep, a Balkanese. play this proper. Oh, this kid's trying to fucking insane me. Oh! You bastard! Yeah, I'm playing not ballsy. I'm playing cowardly. a position to regain my composure. Taking up my classic vantage point. But yeah, Dave, if you would like to play Dyson Sphere, I will purchase it for you. Check out some Hunter stream. Wow, this guy's being a dick. He's trying to stack on top of me. What a Kunta Kinte. Ha, he's trapped in a hellhole now. I was also, but if I get that heart back first. Yeah, I'm strizzled. Got double hearts back. So even though I died, it was advantageous. Did you just call that guy a Kunta Kinte? I did. I suppose that's creative. Not really. That's a borrowed concept. Defensive position activate. It's a game about survival. I mean, killing is wicked fun, but it's mostly about surviving. Oh, he's trapped. Yes, I'm getting his heart. I blew myself up like a stupid noob. the time lapse. You know what? I'm actually gonna switch it up. I'm such an idiot. I walk into my explosion. I, I get so excited that as soon as it blows up, like, I walk to, like, my next spot. But you have to wait for, like, the shrapnel to, dissip to dissipate. Up to your playing Ravenfield? I am. It's pretty rad. This is a defense map. Yep. We held out for the first time ever. <laughs> they lost a lot more than usual trying to cross the uh, no man's land, as you can see. 
our defenses got hit pretty hard, but once we fell back to this corner, we choke pointed them. <laughs> it's rained hell on our M1s. Load times are pretty long. <laughs> Napoli, come over and look. Well, think about that one, eh? To bring honor to my ranking, dude, I'm bronze three with a bunch of fives. I have to stop rushing and stuff and uh, just harvest nodes and play defensively. Is that did AFK burping? I wasn't trying to kill you, I was just trying to make you not run into my area. Or I'm busy harvesting nodes. Ooh! Oh my gosh. I foolishly killed myself with an extreme misplacement. I'm so disappointed right now. I guess it's technically funny though. see me nor my son again. It's not the number of bombs that you drop, it's the spirit that you drop them with. Oh, I just saw my first fall guy and he died like a noob. 
not surprised. That's, that's what Fall Guys do, right? Yeah, they, they like slapstick that. This guy literally just dropped bombs until... Yeah, that was very silly. Dude, that's not how you walk. Oh my god, I walked into the friggin' blast. I'm so upset. Keep on stifling myself by working too fast. Oh my god, I did it again. Pain in the booty. I'm sure you have pain in the booty. Come here, Sally. What are you playing, Gunther? Ravenfield. A whole field full of ravens. Ah, oh, screen's black. It's not. Streaming? Um, at least for your Steam stream. I didn't look at your uh, YouTuber. Startled me. 